Hey guys, Laureato, the former vice president and the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, in the 2023 presidential elections, Angela Liu, has provided what she called incontrovertible evidence in a U.S. court to provide that President Bola Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress, APC, presented fake certificates from Chicago State University. The council also said the signature seen on one of the certificates were forged. Article is seeking the release of Tinubu's academic records from the university, which he said would aid his case at the court in Nigeria as a result of the outcome of the 2023 presidential election, which he is disputing. Tinubu was declared the winner of the controversial election. Filings by Tinubu's counsel, Uluwale Afalobi and Christopher, blamed an unnamed clerk for the error on the date he graduated from the university. They were, however, silent on, on why three of the school administrations signed one of the certificates and two different administrators signed the other. Following Tunubu's response, Article Council Angela raised key questions regarding glaring differences found on the certificates, noting that the document marked A is the certificate submitted by Tunubu to INEC. And this certificate is in every material respect exactly the same as the document marked B, except for the following. The document A is signed by at least three people, whereas B is signed by only two people. The document marked E states that Tunubu was issued a certificate on 22nd June 1979, but then proceeded to forward a copy of a certificate B dated 27th June 1979. Please note that A is actually dated 22nd June 1979, but this document did not emanate from Chicago State University. Only B did. She presented her findings. She submitted that it is clear that either A or B is fake, if not both. You cannot have two certificates issued by the same university to the same person for the same course of study but issued on different dates and signed by two different sets of people. The document A and B both state that Tunubu graduated with a BSc in Business and Administration, whereas document E, which came from Chicago State University, state that he graduated with a BSc in Business Administration. Quoting the school's course available for studies as found on the school's website, she referenced that the College of Business offers a contemporary a business program leading to a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration or Master's in Business Administration. She noted that nowhere there is any reference to business and administration based on the school's website. The lawyer argued that it was not possible for Elora D. Elora D. Daniel to be among those who signed both certificates because she was only the president of the university between 1998 and 2008. In her argument in defense of article, she said one of the three people who signed one of the certificates, Elora D. Daniel, was not with the school in 1979 except only in 1978 and 2008, when she was the president of the university. She then posited there was forged to cover up a glary art of fraud. She was neither president of the university in 1979, when the certificate was purportedly issued, 
none was she president in 2022 when the replacement certificates were issued, the lawyer said. Other discrepancies noted from the examination of the certificate, which she said it is hard to say if one is original or both are, include different letter fronts, uh, logos, and sex, among others. The courts could make its decision in a week to in few weeks to either compel the school to release Tunubu's academic records or deny article the request made to the school. So this is where they are right now. <laughs> Seriously, the so-called leaders are leading in the negative. They are so corrupt. Look at what a whole Tunubu is doing. I have only one certificate. I don't see any reason to have two from the same course of study unless there is something fishing. And why is it different signatures here and there? And some persons who have commented here, they are still supporting, it doesn't matter. Everything in this country doesn't matter. See where we are now. It doesn't matter whether you have a certificate, whether you are qualified to become the leader. It doesn't matter whether you don't even know what you are doing. It doesn't matter. And that is why we are here today. It doesn't matter. When you see people who do not know what they will do, it doesn't matter. Sofa is there. Sofa is my brother. So far, we are from the same, we, we are of the same faith. It doesn't matter. Let him just be there. Is that what we should be talking about? How can we be, talk, how can we be saying a president's certificate is forged and someone is saying here, it doesn't matter. Everything about Nigerian government, it doesn't matter. They will always have their ways. Is it the way to go about things? We are killing ourselves slowly. Nigeria is dying you know, gradually, like this, you understand? Because every day they depreciate because of all these kind of things, all these kind of things. They make this country, they depreciate. People go to school without a certificate, they find themselves in a place working. But those people who have the, the, the result will not get a job. It doesn't matter. Yes, everything, it doesn't matter. So guys, I'm dropping it here. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to give us a, a thumbs up, a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.